you know, this is like making an onopata stew. You put all the ingredients together, you stir it up, and then it, it's just the ono flavor of it that fills the room. But this is really about Hilo. It's a celebration of what Hilo is and what Hilo has to offer. And there's no other place in the world that the Merry Monarch Fair could be at but here. Sometimes when I play it, it reminds me of the voice of my grandpa. Whether I'm carving bone, pearl shells, or stone, that's the time I connect with my ancestors. We're here to kind of shop, but I'm trying to have some control because I'm afraid I'm going to buy everything. <laughs> we make the best-selling Koa bookmarks in the world right now. Thank you very much. Even though I made that up, it's true. The Wailuku is very popular. The Mauna is very popular. I use only woods that I find here on the Big Island that are native or the down trees. I don't generally cut live trees down. We look for salvage trees. Big calabashes are koa. All these dark woods are milo. Just being here and sharing the work, you know, and, and showing people that, um, you know, that the feather work, that the feather work with the feather lace are alive and well. There's a whole wave of a second generation that has come in and taking over what the Kupuna did. So it's really a wonderful experience and they brought it into their own time with their own expression. So it's just a good fun time. I mean, that's what this is about. Merry Monarch, that's why.